This might be the coolest video on my channel to date, but before I get into that, we have a fun afternoon planned with the squad, and we drive past a town called Bluffington on the way, only right that Ethan is here in the backseat with us. We arrive at Circuit of the Americas, which if you've been a long time vlog watcher, you'll remember we went to the F1 race back in October and met legend Kimi Raikkonen. This time it's a little bit more casual, we're doing some go-karting of our own. Pretty awesome experience and after spinning out a few times, we see the results and I'm not too proud to report that I came in third place. We head over to the lodge, you guys are in for a treat. What's up you guys, it's your boy Wolfgang here Hi. with Ethan, also your boy. We're playing some poker, I've got a fun video today. We're here at the meetup game, we just got approached to do a two-headed monster tag team, 1k max, 2-5 game. We'll be known as the Punt Bros after this. Punt Bros after this, he's got the jiggies on the shirt, we're gonna pick them up tonight. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun live stream. Hopefully Ethan doesn't punt away all our money that we've uh, worked hard to accumulate no on this uh, road trip, but Not yeah. A Let's jump right into the hands. Let's go. I'm gonna blow all your money. Yikes. We give Ethan the green light to sit down first, but buckle your seatbelts. It doesn't take long for him to get all the chips in the middle. I wasn't joking. Interesting spot here. The button opens it up to 80. Lord and May make a re-raise to 380. We're in the big blind with pocket kings. Oh! Rampage has the other two kings. Oh my goodness. As you can see, it's 5, 10, 20. The $20 straddle is on from none other than Mr. Brad Owen. Expecting Ethan to go for the four bet here to somewhere around 1,200, just rip our entire stack in. But he decides to just flat call here, which is interesting. And the action's back over to Brad in the straddle. He has pocket nines and he came here to gamble. He rips it all in for his entire stack. $1,800 covering everyone in the hand. The button gets out of the way and the action's back over to Lord and May with pocket kings. Obviously a no-brainer decision for them. He looks down at his cards one more time and sticks his entire stack in. Ethan does the same and we're off three ways to a run out and they turn over the cards. Ethan calls me over to the table. I'm stoked to see we have pocket kings. Hopefully we can chop up Team Lodge's money. Queen 10 do seems pretty safe. A 10 of diamonds on the turn and we get a clean river. We're gonna chop up Team Lodge's money and make 722. Let's go Ethan. Ethan's out here making money for the squad. What am I doing? Oh, nothing less than taking pictures, signing autographs, and meeting fans off the table. Yeah, he's my, he's my camera guy for the weekend. There you go, sir. Yeah. It's finally our time to take a seat. Ethan leaves us with a good amount of chips and Ebony Kenny comes over and gives us a nice glass of red wine to get the juices flowing. Let's hop into our first hand. Ethan, how much did you leave me with? Uh, 1600 you said. Okay, right. so I'm gonna try to give you around like two grand. Start. One right. to two grand is the range we'll we're gonna come back with. We're not Let's go. Look. Got the rail. Let's go, Team Rampage is walking, baby. We're in the plus three position and I raise it up to $65. TM and Thomas look down at pocket kings and three bet me to $225. Action folds back around to me and I have ace queen offsuit. I'm not gonna be a nit on stream. I put in the call, even though we're in some pretty bad shape, let's go off to a flop. Flop's not great for us. It comes seven, six, four with two diamonds. Obviously I'm gonna check it over to him. He's on the button and he goes for a standard C bet here, but sizes up for $365. I think about it for a second here. Think about what my good buddy Ethan would do in the situation would he go for the check raise he might do it but I'm definitely not I muck my cards and we're gonna live to see another hand we find ourselves in the next hand looking at an ace jack offsuit from the plus two position I raise it up to $30 and Matt times two this time it's the Matt Vaughn variety he three bets us to $105 Tim and Thomas fold Seti folds Sylvia folds Ebony folds and the actions back over to me same situation as last time we're getting three bet I'm gonna put in the call and let's see a flop Flop's pretty average, it comes queen, seven, deuce, rainbow. I check it over to Matt Vaughn. Having watched a lot of his appearances on Poker Out Loud, I know he's a very solid player, a lot better than myself, so I'm gonna check it over to him, and when he goes for the C-bet here, I don't know he has ace, king, high. 
So I'm gonna muck my cards. I'm not gonna get into a battle with him here, considering I have really no backdoor draws. $70 gets the job done. Congrats, Matt. Don't spend all our money in one place. Ethan sits back down at the table, but for 45 minutes, nothing to report. So I find myself back in the hot seat. I look down at Ace Jack of Diamonds. Lord and Maid raise it up to $25 from the plus two position, and I'm gonna three bet them here with a nice hand like Ace Jack suited. $75 is the price of poker. Matt times two, this time it's the other Matt decides to put in the call with pocket fives. J Stack and Seti look down at 10 8 of Diamonds, they're calling as well. And Lord and May put in the additional 50 bucks, and we're off to a flop, which comes Ace Jack Six. Bang! We flop two pair. Bang! One of the fun parts about the stream, it's a tag team, and you don't have to sit there for 45 minutes. You can literally tag somebody in and out at the table mid-hand. No one else was doing it, so I decided to call in Ethan mid-hand. He was paying attention behind me. Let's see what he does in this hand when the action checks over to him. Ace Jack Six, two pair for Rampage. Obviously, we have two pair in a multi-way pot. A lot of draws out there, the straight draw, the flush draw, and Ethan's gonna go for a c-bet here he bets 175 dollars not sure if the fact that i tagged him in mid-hand and then he still decides to bet is a definite sign of strength but everyone gets out of the pot and uh 230 dollars of profit coming our way If you guys are enjoying this video so far, it gets even crazier at the end, but do me a favor real quick and hit that subscribe button, making a push towards 50,000 subscribers, and I appreciate every one of you. The videos are only getting better from here, I promise. This next hand here, Team Lodge raises it up to $15. Team Sylvia looks down at Pocket Kings, it's Ashley, and she three bets it up to $50. Lord and May put in the call for 48, and I look down at Pocket Jacks. What a spot here, we got a raise, a three bet. Am I gonna put in the cold four bet in the big blind? Absolutely. I got my hat turned to the side, we're playing some gangster poker here. $200 is the price of poker. Actions on Doug Polk. Can't believe I'm even saying this, but I'm playing a hand with Doug Polk. How sick is that? Expecting him to be doing a lot of folding here. He's in the plus one position. He was the initial raiser to $15, but he decides to toss in two black chips, which brings in Team Sylvia with the pocket kings. Strange that she didn't go for the five bet. Maybe she put me in pocket aces, but she puts in the call and Lord and May put in the call as well. We're going four ways to the flop. Little do we know that we're pretty much crushed. Flop comes queen, 10, 9, all hearts, and I tag Ethan in for a second time here. Unfortunately, we do not have the jack of hearts in our hand. We'd have the straight flush draw. Lord and May check it over to Ethan. He decides to check and not go for the c-bet, and the action gets checked around. What does the turn card bring in? The 10 of diamonds pairing the board, now giving us two pair, and Ethan tags me back in. I look down at my cards when the action's checked to me, and we still have pocket jacks, but the board is pretty vulnerable. We're not likely to get any strong heart to fold like the ace or king of hearts. Any 10 now has three of a kind. We still could be up against any over pairs like kings or aces, so I decide to check. The action gets checked around to Team Sylvia, who surprisingly goes for a second check on this board, not looking to get check raised. And the fourth heart, the six of hearts, peels off on the river. Action checks to me, and I'm not going to be bluffing here when there's four hearts. Lord and May check it over to me. I look down at my cards and decide to tap in Ethan one last time. We went for three switcheroos on this board. What are the opponents thinking? Ethan's not going to bluff into this one this time. There's three other opponents that could easily have any heart and just call him. He checks it over to Team Lodge and Doug Polk now with the Ace King offsuit goes for a $650 bet into the $800 pot. Team Sylvia doesn't look too stoked. She mucks her cards. So does Lord and May. When the action gets back around to Ethan, it's actually me again. He tapped me in one last time and uh, I'm gonna muck my cards. Doug Polk gives a little uh, dance at the table. Look at my face. I'm not stoked about it. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But I finally played a hand with Doug Polk and uh, he bluffed me. This next hand is a fun one. We look down at King 10 offsuit from the small blind. Ebony and Skull Mike, this time it's Skull Mike, raises it up to $30 with three deuce of hearts. I'm in the small blind with King 10 offsuit, and I decide to three bet him to $95. Didn't expect him to be this wide with three high, but I know he's capable of opening up a lot of hands from the hijack, so I like my three bet to $95, and he's not going anywhere he puts in the call. When the flop comes Queen 6 3 Rainbow, the action's on me, and I need to go for a C bet on this board. I'm gonna have all the strong queens, all the over pairs, and so I bet out $90 into the pot. After taking a look at me, Skull Mike looks down at his chips and finds a call, and the Ace of Hearts peels off on the 
turn. And of course, if I'm going to run a bluff here on Skull Mike, I got to tag in the bluff master, Ethan Rampage Poker. He's sitting down at the table. I hope he continues the bluff. The Ace of Hearts, though, is a great card for him to continue on. That's going to hit our three betting range preflop very hard. I'm really happy to report to you guys that Ethan tosses in one purple chip and announces $375. You guys can't really hear the audio, but Skull Mike points at Ethan. I'm standing right behind him, and Skull Mike is looking into both of our eyes here, trying to get a read on one of us. Ethan looks back at me, not knowing I was staring at Skull Mike, but obviously it's too much for Skull Mike to continue with. He only has one pair here, and he's going to muck his cards. We're going to get that bluff through. Two-headed monster here, going for the unorthodox play, and I love it. Damn, look at this power duo right here. We were the second biggest winners on that stream. Can you believe it? Got into that game for 1,000. Ethan topped up for 7,000, in for 8, out for basically 9. Profit about 1,000, 500 the second biggest winners. Could you believe that? Who would have thought? What a, what a beautiful duo. Vloggers. Not punting, we're actually winning. Bang! As always, drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below. Go check out Ethan to see his uh, rendition of our live stream duo. As always, good luck on the felt, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace! I was waiting for that one. <laughs> Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Click my head below to subscribe and stay in the loop. See you next time.